All right, welcome back to the Getting Started with Timber series. Uh, today we are going to work on coding up a single page. So I have here a prototype of the single page that we should use, uh, mocked up by the designer. So I'm going to start in the same way that we started the home page and do a view source and just copy and paste this in. So let's create a new file and call it single.twig and paste this in. So to actually get to this page, uh, let's pull up our demo site. So to actually get to this page, um, we need to modify the links here. Right now you can see this links to single.html, which was great for the prototype, but not the real link we'll actually be using. So I'm actually going to start this, and that's getting annoying. Um, I'm actually going to start this inside of index.twig. So here where we have our zebra and posts, um, that was cute, but let's reset that to just post in posts. So here you can see there is an href to single.html. I'm going to replace that with brace brace post dot link. So you might remember how before we used theme dot link up here to give us the full HTTP. Same thing with post dot link down here. So now if we go back to our site and refresh, click on one of these guys. So you'll see the URL change to be the appropriate uh, link here but we're still seeing the old content. So now let's go in and fix that. Let's also get rid of that JavaScript. There we go. All right. So inside, uh, we have index.php. I'm going to create kind of a matching file. Actually, just copy this and create single.php. To this, I'm going to get rid of this and just say load up single. Dot twig. So let's try this now. If we refresh, hey, so um, things aren't working again in terms of the style, but in terms of the content, we are loading up everything in from the prototype. So the single PHP file is really the same as the index.php. Um, all of it follows the same conventions from the WordPress uh, template hierarchy. We're just telling it instead of rendering index.twig, we want to render single.twig. So Let's go through here, and we could do the same thing we did before and drop in uh, theme.link, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All that would work, but we've already done this work already. So rather than redoing it, I actually want to use something called template blocks, which is a concept found in Twig um, to, to build upon what we've already made. So I'm going to put these two things side by side, the single.twig file and the um, index.twig file. So here is single and here is index. So again, we've already done a lot of the work here in terms of all the stuff for the head, the body, etc. The new stuff doesn't really begin here until we see page content. So you can see page content wrapper, page content wrapper. So hold your breath. I am actually going to go through here and delete all of this from single.twig that is duplicative. So you can see here we have page content this is different, this is different, and then here where it picks up on footer, it is all the same again. So let's go into here and delete that. So we are left over here on single.twig with a much smaller file um, than our index.twig. So here's the magic. So what I want to do is I want to say inside of index.twig, this is the main content for this page. So what I'm going to do is, in here, place another one of those control structures, and that's brace percent. I'm going to call this block main, and close that again with uh, percent and then brace. And then come down here to where that div ends, and it's right before the footer, and I'm going to say end block. So again, another uh, brace percent, brace percent. So over here in single.twig, First, we have to tell it which template we want to extend. So we want to extend index.twig. 
And then over here, what we want to do is say, hey, instead of this content here where you have a block for main, I want you to use the stuff over here. So check this out, block main. And block. So if we go back into our browser and refresh, check this out. So we have taken all of the stuff we had before um, inside, you know, the view source, you know, the links to the style sheets, links to the script, and it has placed that in here. Now you can see there's still some errors uh, that we've got to figure out, but we have done, I think, the hard parts. So we've got that to a nice place, um, but what we don't have is any actual content. This is all still um, the stuff from the prototype. So I actually want um, the stuff from WordPress to appear here. So check this out. Let's go into our single.twig. And here, instead of upstatement, which is the title, we're just going to do post.title. And here for body content, let's replace all that and do post.content. So we also have some custom fields here for phone number, for email address, etc. I'm going to pause on that really quick um, because we're going to con uh, we're going to deal with that in the next video. So I want to do a refresh and just see where that leaves us. And you can see it leaves us with a bunch of missing content. Why is that? All right, because inside of single PHP, um, we've never defined what this post is. It's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to add to my context object a new field for post and set that equal to a new timber post. And you have to worry about passing any IDs. It's going to be able to figure out um, for you what page um, you're on. So now if I refresh, awesome, it populates. So here's more sample content uh, and some dummy content I dropped in. So I want to get into um, playing with custom fields and images, but uh, to do that, one of the things I feel like I'm really missing is that nice edit bar, uh, the admin bar that WordPress normally gives you. The way that's loaded in is through the WP head and WP body, uh, WordPress inserts some scripts and some markup to make that happen. Of course, if I look, say, look in index.twig, um, while we have all this markup, we actually don't have any um, anything here that's calling that WP head and, and WP P footer function. And, and what I mean by that is inside of a PHP file, um, if you're going through a theme, you'll sometimes see something like this. Um, so let's actually load that in. So to load it in, I'm actually going to preserve that here and I'm going to wrap this with brace brace function brace brace. So I'm calling the WP head function using this uh, function call found in Timber. And now I'm going to copy this and do the same thing with WP footer. So scroll down here. And just before the closing body tag, let's replace this with WP footer. So now if we go back to the demo site, let's refresh. A, and there is the edit post screen. So let's click on that. And there is the post to, to make edits to. So that's where we're going to pause for now, and in the next video, we'll get into using images and custom fields.